Bill Gowdy checking in. Got some relatives coming, and uh, I'm gonna smoke a little bologna. Have some bologna sandwiches, some Kentucky bologna on top of that, and uh, they got an MP shield, a nine millimeter, and want to try out. And uh, I'm anxious to see. I'm anxious to see what it'll do on the range. Come on, the adventure continues. <laughs> Check it out. Kentucky best. I can't wait to give it a try. We're going to smother it in yellow mustard and season it with the barbecue, camp made barbecue rub. And then I got some uh, barbecue sauce that I'm going to baste it with after it gets a smoking for a while. That will you, will you lose? Look at that. Perfect. Just perfect. This is a 30 inch range I have converted over to be my smoker. I'm bringing it up to temperature now. Yeah, it looks, it's looking good. It's getting there. I got the bologna in the refrigerator. It's uh, just sitting there waiting for this smoker to get ready. But I wanted to show you this, for those people that are not familiar with my smoking setup, I've had a lot of different smokers over the years. I have a, small, a Bradley smoke generator that I drilled a hole inside of this range and it goes through and it has its own heating element and it uses different kind of pucks. Let me show you a puck. This happens to be an apple puck but I think I'm going to use hickory today. Uh, but they're already designed to go right in that hopper and then they slide through into the uh, smoking chamber and they lay on a plate and they generate smoke and, and I tell you what it reminds me of my great grandpa when he smoked, was smoking his pipe oh it just smells so good I have a damper up here and I have it open right now when I was bringing that up to temperature but now I'm going to close not all the way just slightly that lets some of the smoke out, but he keeps the heat in. And uh, yeah, you'll see as the smoke generates, you don't want it. You want a little bit of a draw. You want it to suck in through. Uh, the damper is in there to cause just a little bit of a draw, so the smoke doesn't smoke me out of the smokehouse here. This is my fish cleaning station as well. Yeah, it's not very big. It's uh, just a little building I built, but it works good. Keeps the rain out and allows me to smoke my fish or turkeys or in this case a bologna so uh, I got to hickory I'm going to advance a puck in got a puck in and that goes in and slides in on the plate and I uh, put another puck in right here now that will automatically do it every 15 minutes unless I want to take control of that and I add a little more or a little less depends on what I'm doing that's the art of smoking
I'm ready. Watch that front sight. That's what we want, right? That's that's good enough for a gun that size. But you do know that it is because your group is right here. So at that distance, at if I don't adjust the gun, yards. I need to aim at the upper right. I no, don't even mess with it. I wouldn't with even okay. mess with it. I would just continue to shoot where you're always shooting. Now, okay. if you're shooting competition and you're yeah, using yeah, a competition yeah. gun, yeah, I worry about that. But not, for, for, for a carry gun, that is excellent shooting. Oh, you're going to hear me say it. Look at the goodness. Now, you can use your ketchup or barbecue sauce of your choice. Whatever you want to base this. I'm in an hour into this, and I'm adding the first coat. I'm going to get probably, uh, oh, I don't know, two coats maybe. I'm using low carb, I don't know, I think it's a sweet, not sweet baby Ray's, Hughes, sweet Hughes barbecue. I'll, I'll try to insert a picture of the bottle soon. Oh, that looks so good. Look at the goodness. Oh. Oh. I'm going to I'm going to I'm going uh, to I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cut it in half, I think. I just cut it right like this. Just look at that. Look, you're gonna hear me say it. Look at the goodness. Once again, I don't have a tomato, but I had lettuce. I got mayo. I got uh, camp made barbecue rub, uh, barbecue sauce, mustard, yellow mustard, onion, and more mayo on a toasted Ezekiel bun. Look. I don't know if I can eat two of those. And then of course, you can see this or not, but I have my salad. Gotta have my salad with blue cheese dressing. And this uh, is uh, I'm one of my favorites. It is, they call pepper jack cheese. Man, I love it. It was on sale, I had to have it. Mm. Let's dig into that, shall we? Man, does that look good. I'm telling you, we had a fabulous day. Went to the gun range, did some shooting, smoked up some <laughs> bologna. Oh, this is a glorified bologna sandwich, I'm telling you. Let's dig into that. I, 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 I tasted just a little taste of it, but let's see what it tastes like. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. 
Mm, messy. Mm, I gotta get a napkin. Mm. Oh my. I, I, I can, the smoky flavor, the barbecue sauce, the rub, it is so good. I'm hungry. I'm eating while the sun's still up. <laughs> That's amazing. Oh. Only thing better would be if I had an ice cold bottle of bush beer, but we know uh, I'm being uh, I'm being stubborn about this. I got to get back to my routine. So I'm having a Zevia. That is good too. Calorie free, natural sweetener. I, I'd like to stick around and talk to you some more, but I got some food to eat here. Got my salad, got my burger, or well, actually, I got my bologna, my bologna sandwich, and I'm hungry. Thank you for watching. Bill Gaddy out.